it's uh, still September 7th. Um, I um, I'm just having a moment. <laughs> I'm just having a moment. Just this, trying to understand this birth chart thing and astrology and I mean, just knowing so I'm listening to the videos again that I briefly went over last night uh, from Cups and Crowns, what is astrology? And just sticky notes, right? Like, I have to write stuff down to remember. And I'm, I'm, I'm just having a moment. <laughs> I think, I just, I feel a little dumb. <laughs> I feel dumb. I, I feel... <clears throat> I mean, I've always felt like I was smarter, a little smarter than people around me, right? When it came to, like, book stuff. But when it would come to, like... Like, socialization, that was a little, uh... Um... Or socializing... I mean, I was never really good at it. Well, before, like, I feel a lot comfortable now, a lot more comfortable in groups, but, you know, just, just reflecting on, like, why I'm feeling dumb. <laughs> and, and I think a big piece of it is just that it's, there's just a lot. There's a lot to take in and, and being mindful. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about this new friend of mine and how he talked about astrology and, <laughs> And when I mentioned wanting to incorporate it into treatment, you know, there was, at first I wanted to like break it apart and, and find a way to integrate it where it would be acceptable. But then he mentioned something and it's just been in my head about, like it's just resonating. I don't want to take it apart. I don't want it to be, you know, just something that you go through out in the wellness market well, I forgot what he said and, and you're just picking and choosing right interventions or treatment modality like I don't I don't I don't want it to end up that way like mindfulness go oh, because he was talking about mindfulness and how it, it's it's because of the society that we live in it's it's taken it away that the, the spiritual component of it and I don't want to do that either I want to honor it, the history, the purpose, the value, and, and ultimately that connection, right? That that whole connection because I'm I'm seeing my clients, and it, it just or just people when I interact with people and I see them having to be themselves in parts. I don't I don't want them to have to look at themselves in parts, you know. I want them to feel whole and complete. And if it's because we're missing this spirituality component where it's it's not polarized, right? Where it's not good or bad. Because that's, that's what breaks it apart. Like, I'm hearing these stories of people struggling and it's this constant separation of themselves in parts <laughs> and, and it's the same thing like it's the same thing over and over and over again and if it's because of that missing component right <laughs> spirituality peace then I don't I don't want to I don't want to take it away so I'm having this moment, right? I'm racking my brain trying to understand. <laughs> like this, this, the energies and the characteristics and the traits and 
and I and knowing that people take time and, and there's right it's not just one course that people take and they become an expert like I know that people dedicate their life to to this right and, and so there's a, a certain element where I, I feel a little out of out of my scope of practice so, so in essence, it's making me feel dumb. <laughs> it's making me feel dumb. And I'm used to feeling a, a little smarter than, than, than my average peers, right? <laughs> and even thinking about the last place where I worked. I mean, my colleagues would come to me for help, for guidance. So I, I never felt... Like, I didn't know, right? I never really felt out of place in the sense of, like, the knowledge that I had about the work that I did. Like, I knew what I knew, and I knew that I was good at it. <laughs> but now that I'm on my own, it just feels a little different. And, and so I, again, I just, I continue to be humbled. I continue to be humbled by this experience. And, and to a certain degree, right, I'm still, I'm still trying to find my place. My new place. And so then I ask myself, okay, well, well what's my goal with this, right? Assuming assuming that this doesn't exist already so what's my goal so I, I wrote down my intention my goal is to prove that with the use of a birth chart the patient the cl client or the patient will be able to navigate through their treatment and then i put colon i'm like okay well how right so i put at a faster rate with greater success how do you mass how do you how do you measure rate and number of sessions how do you measure success is it their satisfaction level or um i so then i got stuck <laughs> and the thing is i i i know i'm not lost physically emotionally like i'm i'm here <laughs> i've been led here it'll blow up in my face if it's i'm not supposed to be here you know things will get harder if i'm not supposed to be here relationships will make will be harder if i'm not supposed to be in my life <laughs> because I'm just needing a little help just a little bit of help a little um <sighs> a little light <laughs> and, and, and that's you guys <laughs> kind of thing right so That's where I'm at. I have two. I had two clients. One canceled, so I only have one, and I'm expecting four more clients this week at least to get me to where I need to be financially. And I'm trying really hard not to stress out about it. Everything will fall in place as it should. <laughs> yeah. But I did have to add that to my list of things to do. <laughs> Pay my golden ticket. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, enough crying. I gave myself permission to cry. I'll move on. <laughs> we move on until it blows up in my face, right? Yeah. Okay, that's all. My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. And in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node. Um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey. Um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is, you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and be vulnerable you know with with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were and so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and, you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.